it guys we are almost at our destination guys a huge lot of some pretty awesome stuff came on Facebook marketplace and I am about to go get it right now it is a little after 8 in the morning and pops is very spry today aren't you pops I'm sick uh, he's just not feeling too well. I mean, uh, nothing, nothing wrong, wrong. I'm just, uh, I'm just not feeling well. But guys, we're gonna go up here. We're gonna buy this stuff, and I'm gonna show you guys what I got. All right, guys, I am back home. I ended up picking up the big Xbox lot. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 24 Xbox original games. And I got them for, I got them for 120. Um, and we're just going to just scan through it real fast. And then we are going to go in the house and go through it and show you what it's worth. Let's go through. And guys, there is a very rare game in this lot. Let's see if you guys can pick it out. Could you guys tell which one is the rare one? You'll find out in a second. Alright guys, we are going to go over that Facebook Marketplace deal for the Xbox games. You guys seen all the spines, but we're going to go through some of this stuff. Uh, first one up is actually a demo disc. It is just disc only. It's uh, number 26 for the demo discs. And this is worth around $2. Not really worth a lot, but nice to get. Then we have um, Xbox uh, game disc, disc uh, 23. Uh, with Voodoo Vents on there. And it is there. And a little scratched up. But um, <clears throat> doesn't bother me any. Plus this sold on eBay for like 7 bucks. I have no idea why. It says only on Xbox. So I ended up getting a couple of demo discs in the lot. Now let's go through some of the games here. We have... For the Xbox, Cabela's Dangerous Hunts 2. Complete. Uh, this sold on eBay for 5 bucks. Not a really high dollar game. And I will say this. A lot of these Xbox games I already own. So I will be probably maybe trading them in or something. Uh, or, if, or if it's a game I don't really want to play. <laughs> then we have uh, for the only on Xbox, Far Cry Instincts. This is a game I picked up at a at Peddler's Mall for like a dollar fifty. Uh, complete, and uh, this sold on eBay for eight dollars sold. So that's gonna be a trade in. Then we have only on Xbox Halo Two. Unfortunately, case is broken, and it is missing the manual, but. Uh, Halo 2 sold on eBay for eight bucks as well. Average. These are these are average eBay prices. And I should also say that I'm also doing price charting as well. Uh, price charting and eBay. I'm getting the averages of it. And yeah, uh, Halo 2 is like eight bucks. Believe it or not. Do we have? Oh, and there's no particular order except for like the last couple. <laughs> But uh, for the Xbox, only on Xbox, exclusive, uh, Unreal Championship 2. I already own this as well. Complete. Uh, being doing a trade-in on this, possibly. Or selling it on my own. But, uh, sold average eBay price, $6.00. Only on Xbox. I also own this one too. Only on Xbox. The Herbs Sims in the City. Uh, complete. And uh, this sold on eBay for $8. Sold. 
Average eBay price. Then we have uh, Xbox. We have Max Payne. Published by Rockstar. Developed by Remedy. I have Max Payne. I'm not sure if I have it on Xbox or if I have it on PS2. I have it on one of the systems. But Open it up. Complete. Uh, Max Payne sold on eBay for around $8 as well. Then we have for Xbox. All these are for Xbox. I don't know why I keep saying that. but uh, Xbox. We have The Hobbit. Uh... It's it's developed by Sierra, so it might be a decent title. Uh, I'm not a big uh, I'm not a big of I'm not a big Lords of the Ring guy, but I'll at least give it a shot. Open it up. It is missing the manual, but um, so this is a game I might end up keeping. Uh, sold average eBay price eight dollars as well. Geez, I got a lot of eight dollar titles here. Then we have. Next one is on Xbox. It is uh, Far Cry Instincts Revolution. It's a sequel to the action shooter of the year. Open it up. Complete. And I will say this. Some of these are scratched and some of these are in perfect condition. I don't know uh, what way they have these. Like, some, like as you can tell, like some of the demo discs are scratched. But this game, look at this game. This game's like minty. So... Uh, some are scratched, some are not, but I mean, overall, it looks like all of them will should play, so. But, uh, Far Cry Instincts Revol Revolution sold on eBay for 10 bucks. I don't own this, so I might end up keeping that. Then we have, which uh, has some stickers on it, and it looks like it's water damage too, but, uh, I'm, I'm not water damage completely, but just a little wavy. But for the Xbox, uh, Magic the Gathering Battlegrounds. Uh, I'm, I was never really big into Magic, the Magic series. Uh, I know a lot of people were into the Magic card game. But this came from Game Crazy. There's the MVP uh, price tag sticker. Game Crazy, more for trades guaranteed. And then it has a, big at an, a, a very big Atari sticker across it. Um... Because it is developed by Atari, so. Uh, but uh, it's there. Uh, this is the game I don't have, so I might end up keeping that one. Uh, oh, I should say uh, Magic the Gathering Battlegrounds sold on eBay averagely for 10 bucks. Then we get... This is a game I played on the PS2 a lot. I don't think I actually own this game. I remember playing it on PS2 because Tommy had it on PS2. But for the original Xbox, MTV's Celebrity Deathmatch, where somebody actually paid 30 bucks for this back in the day, wherever they got it from. But, this is actually a pretty fun game, if you guys, uh, and especially if you ever watch Celebrity Deathmatch. Open it up. Complete. Nice to see. And of course you got, you know, Mr. T, Anna, Anna Nicole Smith, Marilyn Manson, Buster Rhymes, Carrot Top, Dennis Rodman, Tommy Lee... Uh, like Carmen Electra, uh, Jerry Springer, <laughs> Ron Jeremy is in this game, uh, Dennis Rodman. So you got a lot of uh, a lot of uh, celebrities from Celebrity Deathmatch. This is a pretty fun game. And on the Xbox, this sold uh, averagely on eBay for ten bucks. So I actually got a really good score for all this stuff. <clears throat> This is for the Xbox as well. I already own this, so this is a double for me, so I'll probably be trading that in or selling it on my own. But for the Xbox, Destroy All Humans, all humans uh, One Giant Step on Mankind. This is a fun game. Uh, if you guys ever played it, it's a really fun game. Uh, a lot of alien stuff. It is complete. Uh, once again, like some of these are scratched, some of them are in perfect condition. As you can tell, there's a little bit some scratching on there, but overall in really good condition. Uh, but yeah, complete. Uh, Destroy All Humans sold on eBay averagely for 10 bucks. Awesome. Um, and now we're going to start into getting into some of the... Uh, upper echelon in games as far as uh, what prices they are. 
Uh, first one here is uh, only on Xbox. Sega GT 2002 as well as Jet Set Radio Future. Now, I already own this. So, uh, the only thing I don't own is my copy does not have the manual for Jet Set Radio Future. So, I will be snagging this manual and keeping it with me. Uh, but other than that, um, I will be, uh, you know, getting rid of this. Rather, I trade it in or if I, uh, or if I resell it on my own. But, uh, yeah, uh, this is a pretty good car racing, you know, car racing game. And I actually really enjoyed the Jet Set series. Um, I actually have the first one on Dreamcast and it was very fun. Uh, but I already own it, so. But uh, average eBay price, I forgot to tell you guys, fourteen bucks. This this used to be like a six dollar game or whatever, but it's rose up to like fourteen dollars. I have no idea why. <laughs> Next game is also a game I already own. Actually, I think I own this like three times actually. So I have a couple of copies of this for the Xbox, the Elder Scroll Three Morrowind. I'm not a big Elder Scroll fan. Um, I do not care for that series, but, uh, you know, it seems interesting, and, you know, it's one of those adventure games, uh, those RPGs, uh, open it up, it is complete, um, has a Platinum Hits <laughs> disc, but a regular case, but oh well, it's there, right, uh, and it looks like it has some, uh, you know, like, maybe some spilt on it, as you can tell. Like, some of these are in great condition, some of these are just in horrible condition. Well, not horrible, but, you know, not up to par. But, uh, I already own this, so I don't really need this. But Morrowind for the Xbox, sold on eBay, complete for 15 bucks. So that's a nice one. This is a game I already own as well. <clears throat> Uh, on the Xbox, but I, but I, this is actually the limited edition version, so I might be keeping this and getting rid of my other one, but on Xbox, only on Xbox, Jade Empire, this is actually the limited edition, um, version with the, uh, with the holographic cover. I have the original version, so I will be getting rid of my original version and keeping this. This is actually complete, it's a two disc set, so... This is pretty nice. Uh, Jade Empire, a limited edition, sold on eBay for 15 bucks. Not a bad deal. <clears throat> Next is Xbox as well. Uh, it's not an exclusive. You can find this on the PS2, but <clears throat> everybody loves it on the Xbox for some reason. But Xbox Platinum Hits, we have Star Wars Battlefront. Uh, not a big Star uh, Star uh, Wars fan, but uh, some of the games are fun. Open it up. <laughs> Again, uh, Platinum Hits case, but a uh, but an Xbox original uh, uh, disc. Oh well, it's there, right? Uh, this sold on eBay for twelve dollars. Yeah, twelve dollars sold on eBay. Not bad. Uh, I I I might not have this already. I think I have a disc only copy of this, but uh, now I have a complete copy. Uh, I'll get rid of the disc only copy. Uh, next is for the Xbox. It is Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, a classic. This is the second edition. I'm not sure what that means, <laughs> but uh, uh, I don't know why. But this rose in price. Uh, open it up, guys. It is completely complete. It has the manual. It has the little Warriors, which the Warriors is a fun-ass game if you guys ever find the Warriors. I know that's a little pricey game now, but... Uh, oh, and Bully. There's Bully. There's the Warriors. Both of these are fantastic games, by the way. And uh, it, it comes with the it comes with the, uh, with the map. Uh, okay, that's what it means. I guess it's from the trilogy. But uh, Grand Theft Auto San Andreas went up in price for the xbox this sold on ebay for 15 dollars this used to be like a five dollar game used to be 
Uh, I think it rose to like $10, I believe, just recently, and I think it went up even more. So, Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. Uh, <clears throat> Next is on the Xbox. <clears throat> Tony Hawk's Underground 2. I really love the Tony Hawk series. I already own this on the PS2, so I'm, I may keep it or I may not keep it for the Xbox. I have no idea yet. We'll find out later, but open it up. It is complete. Um, really love this game. Uh, a little scratched up, but uh, should play. Uh, Tony Hawk Underground 2 sold on eBay for $12. And now we're going to get into some more of the... We got a couple of $15 ones here, and then we got some of the big boys. For the Xbox, Mortal Kombat Deception. Uh, I believe this is the one that you could play chess... Yeah, chess combat on, which is pretty fun. Me and my son play that. He, he likes playing chess, and that's pretty fun. The Puzzle Combat, I, I have played, and it was okay. Uh, I didn't get into it as much as the chess one. But uh, I'll probably play that as well. I already own this on the PS2, so this is a this is a double for me as far as it being on Xbox. Open it up; it is complete with manual, so that is always good. A uh, little scratched up, but you know what are you gonna do? Uh, I bought this a lot off Facebook Marketplace, and yeah, you can you can never really guarantee what you're gonna get, but. Mortal Kombat, Mortal Kombat Deception sold on eBay for 15 bucks on the Xbox. Now we're down to our last couple of games here on the Xbox. Platinum Hits. It is a classic, in my opinion. Red Dead Revolver. Red Dead Revolver was a fun, fun game. Uh, and of course, you know, this is... This, is, uh, this was the uh, prequel to... Uh, Red Dead, uh, Red Dead Redemption, and Red Dead Redemption 2, so, um, a very, very fun game, I really enjoyed this game, uh, open it up, oh, it has the right disc, imagine that, <laughs> I actually do not own Red Dead Revolver, once again, a few light scratches, but this one, this one's in really good condition, uh, complete, uh, I do not own this on PS2, so I might end up keeping this on the Xbox, so that's always nice. Red Dead Revolver uh, sold on eBay for 15 bucks complete. And now we're going to get into the to the uh, to the big boys here that are worth more than you know 15 dollars. We have on the Xbox Crash Twin Sanity. Uh, this game, you know, was off my radar. I you know I like Crash, but I'm not the biggest fan of Crash. Uh, he's not like my favorite game mascot or whatever uh, game series, but uh, I really enjoyed it. Uh, I haven't played this one yet. I do I do enjoy some of the Crash games, uh, but I haven't played this one. But for some reason, guys, Crash Twin Sanity on the Xbox, it's like a $23 game. Don't know why, but it is. Uh, so that's always nice to get. Unfortunately, no manual. Um, disc is a little scratched up, uh, but it should play. If not, I can always get it resurfaced, no problem, or trade it in for that matter, if I don't like it or whatever. But, Crash Twin Sanity sold on eBay for $23. So, that's always nice to get. And guys, now we're going to get into the second to last game for the Xbox, which I own on GameCube. Actually, I own this two times on GameCube. I own a complete copy and I own a disc, disc only copy, which I'll be end up, you know, reselling or possibly um, selling on my own. I don't know. Uh, on Xbox, The Simpsons Hit and Run. Uh, the Simpsons Hit and Run is fantastic if you guys ever played it. Um, I also love Simpsons Road Rage as well. That's a great game too. But uh, the only bad part is there's like a cut like right here where the artwork was i don't know how that happened there's a little damage right there but other than that it's in uh, it's in relatively good shape i mean there's a few damage here on the front there but i mean overall that's just on the spine as far as the cover it's not bad um 
And not only that, but it is complete as well, so. And, uh, you know, it's in, uh, you know, it's it's in relatively good condition. There's a few, some, as you tell, there's a few scratches on there. But, uh, you know, uh, if it doesn't, you know, play, get it resurfaced. Because this game, guys, uh, if you find it on the PS2, it's worth a lot. If you find it on GameCube, it's worth even a lot more. On the Xbox, it's worth less <laughs> and i found that out with a lot of games that i've bought over the years especially on xbox um xbox doesn't hold a lot of value with a lot of games except for you know certain games uh you know a lot of people would rather have it on uh, like gamecube or um or ps2 and i don't blame them uh but simpsons hit and run sold on ebay for 35 bucks sold so yeah, I'll probably be maybe trading that or, I don't know, trading it or selling it or trading it in. I don't know. But anyway, uh, Simpsons hit and run $35. And guys, this is the rare game I wanted to get out of the lot. And that's the whole reason why I bought the entire lot. Uh, I bought all those games, yes. Mm, I, I actually would have to say at least maybe six or seven are going to go into my collection and the rest will be sold. And this is one of the ones that is going into my collection big time. And if you guys seen it in the in the earlier clip, you guys will know exactly why. We have for the Xbox Futurama. A very, very high dollar, rare, expensive game. Now, of course, it's not as expensive as a lot of other games i know there's some games that push you know fifteen hundred dollars that's not how much this game is worth but it's a in my realm this is a game i should not be having in my collection because i would never pay that much for the game but it came with all these xbox games and i wanted to snag it as soon as possible so futurama on the xbox i love futurama one of my favorite uh it's one of my favorite, uh, what is that, animated shows. Uh, I love Futurama. My favorite character is Dr. Zoidberg. <laughs> he is. He's my favorite character. Uh, second would probably be Bender. But uh, I love Futurama. It's one of my favorite, uh, favorite cartoons. And uh, I'm, I'm not sure exactly why this is, uh, this is a rare game. I think it was because it was like a low print run for the game. If I'm not mistaken. Um, but uh, yeah, there's the spine. There's the front. And guys, the case is impeccable. The case is in fantastic condition, as you can tell. Uh, and let's open it up. Oh, oh, this fell out. But it is complete. And let's check out the condition. Overall, a few light scratches and maybe some fingerprints. But overall, guys... Futurama for the Xbox. Let's go over how much Futurama costs. Guys, you can go look on eBay for yourself and go look on price charting yourself if you don't believe me. Futurama on the Xbox sold on eBay and price charting for $180. That's insane to me. I will never pay $180 for one game. Never. So... Uh, I, I've came close. I've, you know, I've, I, I think the most I've ever paid for a game was like maybe seventy dollars, possibly. But I'll never pay one hundred and eighty dollars for a fucking video game. I will never pay it. But I did pay it for this lot here. Uh, I mainly, I mainly wanted Futurama in my collection. That's why I bought it. Uh, the lady on Facebook Marketplace actually only wanted a hundred dollars, but she kept like not getting in contact with me so i said hey if you sell it to me right now i will buy it for 120 to kind of entice her to sell it to me instead of somebody else <laughs> so that's what i did uh and guys the average ebay and price charting price for everything that i got this big entire xbox lot is a is 400 and fifty one dollars I actually got this off Facebook Marketplace from uh, from a lady for a hundred and twenty dollars. Of course, 
this right here was worth it because it's a $180 game alone. So, hell of a deal. So, by the time I trade in or resell some of these games, I will at least make some of my money back or most of my money back for that matter. Uh, that's a total savings of $331. Hell of a deal. Hope that you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, make sure you guys give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to share it all over our social media. Like us on Facebook, facebook.com slash WrestleRampage2. Follow us on Twitter at WrestleRampage. As well, you can follow us on Instagram as well. And guys, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button for more great videos coming to you guys. And we'll see you guys next time.